Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jody, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my $10 a week groceries. I'm gonna be taking you to Walmart with me, showing you my receipt, and then sharing with you my super easy meal plan and how I prep everything ahead of time. All my recipes are plant-based, but even if you're not vegan, all of these meals have plenty of protein, so don't you worry. Join me for this extreme budget grocery challenge for July of 2022, and stay until the end if you wanna see how much I have left over you guys are not gonna believe it. Okay, let's go ahead and go to Walmart. Okay, so as I'm going through the store, I'm first just perusing what some cheap items are and then I will decide on my meals. So some good fresh produce options were a mango for 68 cents and then carrots were 98 cents a pound. Once again, I'm betting the frozen veggies are more expensive than I can get canned, so I am heading over to the canned section. Some canned fruit for $1 is an option, and then there are several different canned veggie options for anywhere from 54 to 60 some cents. I'm also quite impressed with how many no salt added canned items Walmart has. I normally shop online and do grocery pickup through Walmart, so I didn't even realize that they had this option for so many different canned veggies. And there's my favorite PB Fit powder that I love. Definitely not going to be in this grocery haul though. Okay, and over to get some starches. The pinto beans always seem to be the cheapest, but since I used them in my last extreme budget video, I will choose something else. And great price for rice at Walmart, just 76 cents for one pound of white rice. Now at this point I knew I was probably going to be making my own bread just with their flour and yeast, but I wanted to check out all of the options and if you are someone who doesn't want to make your own bread or doesn't have the time to do so, there are some really great options for you at Walmart. They have these English muffins I found. I did see also a $1 loaf of French bread as well as some corn and flour tortillas. All right, you guys, my shopping at Walmart is done. It's kind of hard while I'm in there because I'm trying to stick to such a close budget of like exactly $10 or very close to. Um, I'm not able to plan my meals ahead of time. And so while I'm in there, it takes me a little bit longer to think, what can I make with all of these different things? Um, what meals can I make out of all of these good priced items? And some other things that I have to consider are how much nutrition are in all the different things. How many calories are they going to give me? Are they going to keep me full? Obviously, I like to keep health in there as well. I want to make sure I'm eating some fruits and vegetables. Of course, fruits are one of the hardest things to buy on such a low budget. Bananas are like always in there, guys. I'm sorry if you don't like bananas. Um, honestly, the prices of like everything else are so high. I did consider today possibly getting a can of pears or peaches and those were a dollar so those were kind of in the mix there um you'll see if they made the cut or not shortly 
But another thing that is difficult is if you do like to eat a very high protein diet, if you're vegan or not, it's still difficult to buy a lot of high protein foods on such a small budget. Of course, being vegan or plant-based really helps with that and eating, incorporating at least some beans and lentils and things like that into your diet can really help. All right, let's get the show on the road. I will drive home and show you everything that I got, the very few things that I got, and my receipt, and kind of show you what I'm gonna prep ahead to get prepared for this next week. I'm excited. Are you excited? I hope so. Let me know in the comments down below, what would you like to see for my next extreme budget video? Would you rather see how I eat for $1 a day or how I feed my family of four for $40 a week or $10 per person? All right, so that is everything that I got from Walmart. My total was $10.19. And just in case you don't believe me, here is my receipt. Okay, so for this week, I'm gonna be making a very simple meal plan. We have a very busy week, so I'm just going to be making a breakfast, lunch, and a dinner, and eating the same thing every day this week. Now, if you've watched any of my other meal planning videos, you know that I like to use this monthly calendar to plan all of my meals for the month. Hopefully you can see that. But I've been trying to find something that works well for my weekly meal plan and my grocery list because we do go shopping once a week. So I came up with this weekly meal plan and a grocery list template for myself and I thought that I would share it with you guys. You can print it out or you can just download it and fill it in, whatever works for you. But it is completely free and I will leave a link in the description box below if you want to check that out and let me know how it works for you. So here is what the template looks like and here is what I am going to be making this week. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do this morning is to start my bread because it does need to rise most of the day. This is a super easy bread recipe that I've shared several times before on my channel. I will link a video above if you want to see the full process. All you need is active dry yeast, flour, salt, and water. Okay, so I'm gonna be making some banana muffins with my three bananas and some of my leftover flour. And I'm just gonna be using my regular banana muffin recipe and leaving out some of the more expensive ingredients like maple syrup and instead using sugar and then leaving out like my flax egg and my vanilla. So I've got baking soda, baking powder, <clears throat> cinnamon, salt, and then you could use, I use applesauce, but you could also use oil if that's something that you eat and you have in your pantry. And then just sugar or whatever type of sweetener that you have. If you have dates, use those. If you have agave, honey, whatever you have.
Okay, as I'm going throughout, I am just showing you how much protein there are in the different items, just so you can see how much protein really is in this meal plan.
Okay, so my husband was going to take a picture of everything that I prepped, but he tried and failed to use an Instagram filter. So here's everything, but pardon the extreme discoloration. Okay, so here is the finished product of my two loaves of bread. Okay, it is day one of my extreme budget grocery challenge. And this morning I am just eating one piece of toast and two of my banana muffins. All right guys, it is day number two. I just got back from a run this evening and I am just going to eat my dinner. I've got my split pea soup and I just toasted up some of my bread. And yeah. Okay, it's day three, eating the same thing, rice, tofu, and veggies for lunch. And I'm just putting my sriracha and my liquid aminos. And this has been really good and super filling. The last two days, I actually haven't finished the portion that I made. All right, you guys, it is day seven. It is the moment of truth. Was it enough food? Yes. I finished all of the banana muffins. I finished all of the soup. And then this is what I have left over. I have some bread, two pieces here. And honestly, I thought that I was gonna have to make another loaf of bread or some dinner rolls or something like that. But I had all of this flour and the yeast left over. So I definitely could have bought some other fruit and just gotten the two pound bag of flour. And then the other thing that I have, I will show you. So this is the tofu veggie stir fry that I have left. This made an insane amount. <laughs> When I saw the rice like overflowing in the pan, I was like, can I eat that all this week? Yeah, it turns out, no, I can't. So I am just going to freeze this. And if you're making any of these meals and are worried about them lasting for a full week, or maybe you are just doing meal prep and you wanna save some for another week, you can freeze all of these, the muffins, the soup, even the bread, just cut it up and freeze it and then you can just take it out and put it right in the toaster. Don't forget to check out my free weekly meal plan and grocery list template down in the description box below and let me know what you think of it. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you do so. Hit the little notification bell down below so that you don't miss my next video, which is gonna be sharing with you three healthy and delicious dinner recipes for summer. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.